Chapter 1, Place Value, Lesson 5, Hands-On, Understanding Place Value. Let's look at our first example. And again, I've said this in a previous lesson. You can go to your tools in your online curriculum and you can find work maps um, in the following grid patterns. Okay, so it says shade the model to show 0 0.77. So 77 out of 100, because we're two place values behind the decimal. Write the decimal in word form and standard form. So let's shade. We're shading 77 out of 100. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then all but three for the last one. There we go. 77 out of the 100. So in word form, we're going to write 77 hundredths. Standard form is 0 0.77. It says the place value chart that you used for whole numbers can be extended to include decimals. So whole numbers are on this side. Decimals are behind the ones place. It says write the decimal 0 0.77 in the place value chart. So we have no ones. We have no whole ones. And we have 7 tenths and 7 hundredths. So let's describe the relationship. The value of the digit in the tens place is 0 0.7 or 7 tenths. The value of the digit in the hundreds place is 0 0.07 or seven hundredths over here. It says use a calculator to find 0.7 divided by 0 0.07. Well, if you do that, and I did, you'll get 10. The value of the digit seven in the tens place is 10 times as much as the value of the digit in the hundreds place. So these numbers continue to become smaller pieces. This is 10 times more than that. This is 10 times more than whatever might be here. The value of the digit 7 in the hundreds place, we're talking about this place, is one tenth as much as the value of the digit 7 in the tenths place. Okay. So let's do the try it, and I'll leave the talk about it for you to do with your teacher. Okay. It says, describe the relationship between the value of the digits in the decimal 0 0.027 and their place value position. So first, let's write it in the place value chart. We have no whole ones. We have no tenths, and we have two hundredths and seven thousandths. So you can see this is out of a thousand. Okay, if we were to write that as a fraction, we would say 27 over a thousand. 27 out of a thousand are colored blue. So the digit in the thousands place is a seven. It has a value of 0, oops, 0 0.007 or 7 thousandths. We could say 7 out of 1,000. It's another way to say it. If this digit were moved to the hundredths place, it would be 10 times as much. So it would have a value of 0. 0, 7 because we're two places behind the decimal and we've talked hundreds so we know what that denominator looks like. If this digit were moved to the tenths place it would have a value of 0 0.7. The digit in each place has a value that is one tenth times as much as it has in the place to its left. So remember I'll say it again this place value is always 10 times more than this. 
this is one tenth as much as this, assuming this, this would be a two. Okay? I hope that makes sense, and I would like you to do your talk about it section with your teacher. Thanks for listening.